Welcome to today's episode of Fun with Drilling Engineering. Today we want to talk about how to get around in an oil and gas reservoir. Oil and gas are in the microscopic pores of the rock. You can see that clearly here. The gas is contained in such rocks. It's only under a microscope that you can see the pores. And underneath in the oil layer, it looks like this. So this is the rock in whose pores the oil is located. Yeah, and if we want to drill a borehole in such a reservoir, we got to sink a production well with the longest possible section in the hydrocarbon bearing layer. And it is, of course, important, firstly, to know when we have reached the reservoir in the first place. And secondly, to make sure that we do not drill through the cap at the top or into the reservoir border bearing rock at the bottom. And for this purpose, our bottom hole assembly contains a few sensors, which we now want to explain. The first sensor is a so-called gamma sensor. And with a gamma sensor, you can measure the natural radioactivity of the rock. I have such a sensor here. And the fact is that sandstone is not radioactive, but the top layer of clay is a little bit radioactive, as you can hear beautifully here. And so our gamma sensor reacts to this clay. And with a gamma sensor like this, we can firstly see when we enter the reservoir and secondly, the gamma sensor always reports when we are too far up in the reservoir and we have to drill down again. And in the same way, there's also a sensor that tells us when we've reached the bottom edge of the reservoir. And we use a conductivity sensor for this. The water underneath the reservoir is salty. And therefore a wonderful electrical conductor as we can see in this measurement. The conductivity is relatively high. So, now I wash the sensor briefly and measure how high the conductivity is when we go into the oil of the reservoir. And here we see quite clearly that the oil is an insulator and the electrical conductivity is much, much lower. So, with this sensor we can differentiate between the reservoir and the salt water underneath. And whenever the conductivity sensor gives too high a reading, we have to steer the well up. And so in this way, with the gamma sensor and with the conductivity sensor, we can stay in the reservoir for kilometers without damaging it or leaving it. And for those who want to know more details, come to our lecture, Drilling Engineering 1, here in Freiburg. We're looking forward to seeing y'all. Glück auf!